and Rafi is right. <laughs> you need to redeem, not just for the sake of peace and freedom, but for the sake of, uh, yeah, your pocketbook. Redeem your spare fiat for real money. Thursday, August 22nd, 2024, Maneco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Today we're going to look at uh, Warren Buffett and why he's costing uh, the shareholders of Berkshire Hathaway uh, tens of billions of dollars by holding uh, cash and cash equivalents like treasury bills. And I'm not uh, pretending to know about how to invest in companies better than Warren Buffett because he's probably uh, up there at the top, arguably, in doing that. And he's multiplied uh, shareholders' uh, assets massively in the last 50 years. But in the case of uh, currency and money, I, I think uh, he's uh, fail failing the, the shareholders. And that's what we're going to look at. Uh, before uh, we move into that, though, I'm going to go back uh, to 1948 and actually uh, look at uh, Warren Buffett's father, actually, Howard Buffett. He was a congressman uh, from uh, Nebraska. And he wrote uh, this article for the uh, Commercial and Financial Chronicle back in 1948, entitled Human Freedom Rests on Gold Redeemable Money. I'm sure uh, Warren Buffett has heard of this uh, article, probably read it, knows about it. So it's surprising to me that he doesn't seem to uh, understand what gold really is. He seems to think uh, gold is uh, for people who are fearful uh, about what's going on. He, he, he seems to think that gold is useless, that you uh, dig it out of the ground and you put it in a vault. But uh, I'm going to recommend as well a, a book so that you can understand what gold, gold really is and the fact that it's actually the most marketable commodity, which means it's money and currency. And this is the book here. This book uh, I read over 20 years ago and, and it's helped me understand what's going on, what has government done to our money uh, by Murray and Rothbard. And I'm going to put a, a link to this uh, book below in the description, a free PDF uh, from the Mises Institute. And I like, highly recommend the Mises Institute. It teaches uh, you all about the Austrian School of Economics. Uh, it teaches you all about sound money, small government, free markets. Uh, and yeah, you can get the free PDF or you can choose to buy the book from the Mises Institute. That will help them. Um, what about human freedom resting on gold redeemable money? Well, I'm going to put that article below in the description as well and you can read it. But uh, suffice, suffice it to say what uh, Congressman Buffett was saying 48 years ago that uh, without gold redeemable money, and I think he meant more gold redeemable currency because uh, up until 1933, and this is a, a $10 uh, banknote from 1928, you could redeem uh, the currency into lawful money at the issuing bank. So this is from uh, the National City Bank of New York. So you could go there and get your money, your redeemable money, which was uh, a $10 gold piece like that. This is an Indian head. So for Warren Buffett to say that uh, gold is useless and that uh, you dig it out of the ground and you put it in a vault is a little bit uh, doesn't really make sense because what he uh, refers to as cash or treasury bills are, are just uh, like a, a promise to pay gold. So by holding uh, all the cash that uh, he's holding for Berkshire Hathaway, 
he's also playing into fear, right? Because he says that holding gold is for those who are fearful. But we're going to get to that in a minute. The reason why I'm talking about Howard Buffett, though, is not to point at uh, Warren Buffett, actually. It, it, it's actually because of Rafi Farber. And many of you, of course, know Rafi Farber of the Endgame Investor. I recommend his YouTube channel and also his uh, newsletter. I found Rafi about uh, five years ago, before 2020. I read one of his, uh, his articles, I think, somewhere from uh, Seeking Alpha, and I contacted him, and we had uh, an interview, and uh, we've gotten along really well. He believes in all these same principles that I do of the Austrian school of sound money, small government, free markets. And uh, unfortunately, his house was kind of damaged. His car was damaged from a bomb yesterday uh, in the Golan Heights where he lives. And he made a video uh, yesterday and he said the only way to stop this madness of war is if we start redeeming our fiat currency uh, balances into gold and silver. And I agree with him and Howard Buffett agrees with him as well, because you can't have uh, you can't have human freedom uh, if you were, if we have constant wars. And Rafi didn't even take sides here. Uh, he said that uh, dollars are provided for uh, to both sides. Uh, dollars are provided to Israel, uh, fiat currency dollars, of course, uh, to bomb uh, Palestinians. And dollars are also provided to Iran, uh, which dis disburses those dollars to, their, to its proxies. Uh, but Rafi, I, I wanted to let you know that I'm uh, thinking about you and your family, but I'm also thinking uh, about what you said, that we need to stop the governments. And one of the ways to stop it, well, the best way to stop it is with your wallet. And uh, recently I was able to uh, fortunately be able to redeem some of my hard earned fiat balances into this uh, new St. George and the Dragon one ounce gold coin which is a, a really nice coin, as you can see here. Yes, it does have <laughs> King Charles uh, on the obverse, but uh, it doesn't really matter. It, it's gold. And it's a way of telling the government you're not happy. And you can see here, I, I got it from Gold Investments. And uh, yes, uh, that, that's, that's the way to do it. Um, of course, we don't have gold redeemable money anymore. And that, that was what... Howard Buffett was warning about. He warned that uh, dictators like Stalin and others and Hitler, uh, they, they stop redeeming uh, currency for real money or gold at a fixed, uh, fixed uh, rate. And, and so did the United States back in 1933. And so did the, the UK back in 1931. So is it any wonder that things are as they are, that we have constant wars, proxy wars, uh, fears and talk of World War III? Well, yeah, uh, no politician out there on either side, be it in the US and the UK, is going to stop this madness. The, the only thing that can stop them is if uh, there's a rush uh, and, and people who are fortunate enough to have fiat balances redeem those fiat balances into real money, i.e. Uh, gold and even silver, I, I would say. So back to Warren Buffett and how and, and why he's costing uh, the shareholders of Berkshire Hathaway uh, actually is around 30 billion by my uh, rough calculations. And it could be increasing. As the gold price increases, yes, uh, gold. Uh, and some people might say, well, gold is too volatile. It's easier to uh, hold treasury bills or cash. Uh, they earn interest. Yes, that's true. Uh, and I would say that uh, the T-bills that uh, Berkshire Hathaway is probably holding is yielding around 5.3%. Right now, 
I think uh, since they sold a, a big chunk of Apple, uh, I think uh, Berkshire Hathaway has like 270 billion in cash. But at the end of 2023, uh, Berkshire Hathaway had 168 billion in cash equivalents and cash. Cash, cash equivalents are like treasury bills. And the other thing uh, I would say is that holding cash and treasury bills, you're financing the government. You're uh, making it possible for uh, Uncle Sam or John Bull here in the UK to keep sending uh, billions uh, of dollars and pounds uh, to uh, war zones to keep war wars going. So not only uh, is Warren Buffett costing his shareholders. He's uh, making uh, these wars possible by holding, by financing governments. Uh, maybe he's okay with that. Uh, I'm not here to judge him. Uh, but um, let's go back to the uh, the money part that he's costing them. Um, tens of billions or around 30 billion, I would say. And why why isn't gold that volatile? Well, it hasn't been. Uh, that volatile, really. If anything, it's uh, becoming less and less volatile. It's the most marketable commodity, as you see from this book. It's very liquid. It's accepted everywhere around the world. Uh, it has held its value. It's a store of value uh, uh, for thousands of years. But if you look here at Incrementum's uh, research in, uh, in Gold We Trust report, since the year 2000, uh, gold uh, has averaged 8.7% return uh, in U.S. dollars per annum. Uh, and this report is from March. So at the time, gold was up 5% year to date. Right now, uh, if you uh, take gold, uh, the spot price at uh, $25.10 or $2,510, uh, gold is up... Uh, I'll tell you here on my Hewlett Packard, 21.726% uh, year to date. We closed uh, 2023 at 2062. You do the maths. So if you take that 168 billion and uh, let's say uh, Warren Buffett put all of that in, in T-bills and it looks like he's holding some in cash, which doesn't earn that much. Well, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's give him a return of 5.3% because that's what uh, the, the short-term T-bills are yielding more. They might have yielded a little more in the beginning of the year and he rolled them over. But the fact that he's also holding uh, cash uh, makes up for the difference. So I've calculated here that um, if you take the return on gold year to date, uh, minus uh, the return on short-term T-bills, it's 16.42%. That's what he has uh, kind of lost out on uh, by not holding real money. <laughs> uh, and that's real money. Not that. This is what we call cash. And T-bills are just cash lent to the government for one, uh, one week, uh, one month, three months, that's all uh, that T-bills are. So if you take that 16.42% and you take the 168 billion, well, it's a loss of um, 27.59 billion uh, dollars. And uh, that, that cash holding or treasury holding has gone up about 100 billion over uh, 2024, over this year. So I haven't done the exact calculation of how gold is done as he as Berkshire Hathaway has added cash and T-bills. But we can safely say that he's foregone about 30 billion in, well, fiat currency, right? Because if he'd uh, been accumulating gold, uh, let's say if he had uh, put quite a bit of the, or all of the cash he had at the end of uh, 2023 in gold. The gold would still be that same gold, but it would be worth more. 
Uh, yes, Warren Buffett says that gold just sits there and does nothing. Well, that's because it's money. <laughs> and money, uh, unless you lend it out, does nothing. Uh, this, if you kept this back in 1928 or 1929, did nothing. But if you lent it to the government, the government w would pay you uh, interest. So let's quickly look at uh, where the markets are this morning. Uh, and yesterday, of course, we had the, the FOMC minutes that were published. And it, look, it looks like the vast majority of the uh, people present at that committee uh, meeting uh, are looking to cut rates on uh, September 18th. I think that's that was priced, kind of priced in already. And uh, here we are. Uh, and gold is at 25.10 this morning. As I speak, uh, we're up 21.7% year to date. And yes, uh, I think it's discounting uh, a little bit the fact that the Fed's going to cut rates. But uh, just imagine when they start cutting rates and if they have to cut even more aggressively. Because yesterday as well, we had the Bureau of Labor Statistics. <laughs> they revised uh, the the jobs uh, data for from March 23 to March 24, uh, they revised it down by over 800,000. So what that means is all, all those uh, non-farm payroll numbers that we saw during that period were highly, uh, <laughs> they were completely bogus. Yes, some people will say, well, th those are revisions, but uh, what, what if uh, Apple or NVIDIA and IBM came out with uh, results, and then a year later they said, "Oh, I'm we're sorry; those results were actually a lot worse." <laughs> uh, they would be in trouble. But when it's the government, oh, it's revisions. So there's an old saying by, uh, and I think it's attributed to uh, British Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli, and he said the following: "Lies, damned lies, and statistics." So. I think the economy is a lot worse uh, than the market thinks. And that revision yesterday is a big part of that. So what I'm trying to say here, yes, things are just starting to get interesting. And uh, by the way, it's quarter past 8 a.m. London time. Yeah, spot gold is down slightly, 2509 here. Uh, silver is at 2944. The stock market is pretty much unchanged. So everything's fairly quiet in terms of the markets. Uh, we, we've got the geniuses at the central banks. Uh, they're all uh, converging in Wyoming, of all places, at, the, at Jackson Hole. Uh, and, and I saw an article in the FT about how uh, central bankers are trying to uh, fight inflation and make sure we don't have inflation. Well, I've got a good uh, idea for them. Shut down your uh, central banks. Uh, let the market decide what, what they want to use as money. And uh, make sure there's honest weights and measures. Because money is a, a way to gold or even uh, a way to silver. Uh, I'm just going to get my uh, 1964 quarter. So that's all it is. And people might say, well, uh, how, how can people exchange uh, weights of gold and silver for goods? Well, it's called the ratio. It's called the price. The market works it out. And, and that's why when you hear that uh, from Bloomberg or CNBC or Fort Fox Business, that central bankers in, from all around the world that are at uh, Jackson Hole uh, trying to work out ways to fight inflation, it's just a joke. Uh, those are the guys that create the inflation by issuing trillions of these with no backing to it. And that's why prices rise. And uh, the process of issuing more currency, that's inflation. That's the inflation uh, of the currency. Yes, you can have inflation of the money supply under a gold system. Yeah, and prices will change. 
but it's something done by the market. It's not interfered upon by government. And, and, and I think that's what we need more than ever. Think about it. Uh, do your research. Read this book and others. And uh, if you don't agree with me, fine. Keep uh, financing Uncle Sam. Keep financing Keir Starmer's government and keep financing uh, the endless wars. That's, uh, that's where I'll stop today. And uh, with that, I'm going to wish you all a very good day. Take care. Bye.